Hello. It's time for more Eden escapades with our randomly generated rule set that I've just decided. And we get the screw and... Oh, this is actually not looking too bad. We got a pretty decent shot speed. We got ourselves the remote detonator thing, so we got to boom all of our own bombs. But at least that means that we do start off with five bombs, which is nice. And we got the flat penny, which means we should be getting a reasonable amount of keys as well. And we're fighting Super Pride, so with some luck we can get nine lives immediately. But we'll see if that happens, I suppose. I'm not really digging this so much, though. <laughs> not really digging the whole bomby throwy thing. Even though I kind of wonder if I can blow this up. Probably not, but I kind of want to try now. And uh, not like that, though. Not like that. <laughs> Why are they always so close to me? It's really quite mean. No, I can't blow those up. That's sad. I wish I could. I wish the remote detonator worked for all the bombs in the game. It would make the item a lot better. <laughs> and there goes our health immediately. Because that character can give us the dead cat and the character didn't need to do so. So... <laughs> Looking good so far. Let's see if our item room contains something that will assist us in these troubling times of having a singular heart container. I really like times when you start off with one heart container with this character anyway, so now it's just kind of like one of those runs. Except that we now have a bunch of lives as well, and also one step closer to being guppy, and yeah, basically just better in every single way. And it's gonna work out, and if it doesn't work out, then, <laughs> well, we tried, and we would have just failed, so, you know. It, it, it'll probably be fine, though. I mean, we got nine lives. There's really not a very high chance that we're going to lose all of those. And we got the dead baby as well, like the rotten baby. So it's looking pretty good so far. I'm going to blow these things up. There we go. Was kind of hoping for a secret room, but we got more bombs out of that than we... Well, I guess we ended up with the same amount of bombs again, so working out. Plus, the uh, rotten baby's actually been quite good at these rooms so far as well. Pretty good at taking care of... Uh, the enemies that are behind rocks, so I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this build quite a lot, actually. We can just keep going like this for a while. And probably not die. And it'll be great. I do wonder where the, uh... Ah. <laughs> I was wondering why there were so many rooms next to each other, but it's because it's an XL floor, which is actually not great. Uh, wasn't actually aware that it was an XL floor. And the odds of a Devil Deal are now actually not so good. Because I was just like, oh, Basement 1, I can just get hit a lot, doesn't matter. It's just super bright, whatevs, but... No. <laughs> no, actually not. It actually did matter. Uh, but hopefully we can find, like, a, uh... I don't know, like, a secret room. I'm finding a lot of bombs, at least, so that we got, got that going for us. So, if anything, we could just break a whole bunch of pots and hopefully get a quarter from that or something. That would be pretty rad. I'd like that. Maybe we can lure those guys next to the pots and break them all. Break a bunch of them at least. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. No. Almost. Sort of, mm. yeah, okay. Just kill them. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Whoop. It worked out. <laughs> and we're getting more bombs. Oh my god. This could actually be kind of interesting. Like so many bombs. Plus like we can choose when to detonate them as well. And homing bombs with that as well. This could actually be a pretty fun build. Let's see if it actually will become one. Um, I don't know if I want to swallow penny more than flat penny right now. I don't think I do, but I'm not 100% sure what the right choice in that regard is. Uh, let's see if there's a secret room here, though. There is not. Man, my secret room is hiding right now. I'm not sure where either. Might be to the left of this room, I suppose. Oh, that went well. That was the, <laughs> was the champion that hit me or not. I couldn't really tell. It was just one... Just an big old mess of spiders right there that all decided to just jump on my face and it wasn't really that great I'll be honest it wasn't the best experience I've ever had but let's see let's just break some pots again still no coins zero coins so far which is sort of impressive given the amount of stuff we've destroyed so far taking a lot of random damage here as well which I'm not really digging too much but oh well let's just place some bombs down this one over here place one over there and kabloomy well, three coins. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Uh, just what I expected as well. From the amount of <laughs> pots we destroyed, the amount of rooms we cleared, the secret room combined with that as well. Like, we pretty much did everything. And it just didn't work out very well. It was kind of sad. Also, haunt with bombs. I can deal with that. <laughs> I can go with bomb stratagems And be the Winnemagger. I don't think there's anything left on this floor that I particularly want to see. And I guess I could go into my super secret room. 
which isn't there. So I'm going to give up on that immediately. But now we have three of everything, so that's good. That's a lucky number right there. Also, this will become a lot easier. With homing bombs and remote detonate to noble blah, 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 bombs. I wonder if it will actually just blow up after a while if I don't hit the button ever. But I don't... I think it should just keep the bombs on screen forever. Genuinely quite surprised we got a devil deal here, but all right. And it's Krampus, but we got a pentagram as well, because apparently we're getting that every run now. Apparently every run is now a pentagram run. Oh my god, look at how damaging those flies are right now, though. They're just destroyers of worlds. We got the coal as well. We got the two of clubs, which means we'll have access to even more bombs. Good stuff. I wish we had more coins, though. Yeah, uh, there, there really isn't much I can do about that, unfortunately. But I wish we had more coins, but maybe... Maybe the caves and onwards is going to have some more cool stuff. Plus, we can still get angel rooms as well because we got Krampus. So there's a reasonable chance that angel rooms will actually appear. But we also got the pentagram. So that I think that decreases the odds. I'm still never 100% sure with any of these items what they actually do. But I'm pretty sure that decreases the odds of uh, angel rooms. But who knows what it means these days. I got so many flies. I guess they came from the red chest or something. Seeing as we haven't actually received anything from the red chest otherwise, aside from those, like, two bombs, I guess they probably did come from the red chest, but still. It was quite surprising to suddenly see that amount of flies around me. I was kind of hoping that those three red chests would give us anything a little bit better, but, you know. <laughs> what can you do? We can't do anything to change these odds, unfortunately, so... We're just gonna go with what we got, and what we got is pretty alright. We got reasonable damage right now with the coal and the pentagram and the various flies at our disposal. I'm actually just gonna go in here, I think. Just in case. Hey, it worked out. It was actually not that bad of an idea in the end. Still kind of hoping for a little bit more coins. Still kind of hoping to just teleport into either our de uh, Devil Deal or our Angel Room or just getting guppy parts from those red chests. But instead, we're mostly... we've gotten... A soul heart out of it, effectively. <laughs> and that's really about it. And, I mean, we got some flies out of it that one time, which were kind of useful, but... They, they sort of died afterwards, because that's what the flies do in this game. They sort of just die a lot. I was kind of open for a mushroom there as well. Health up? Alright. <laughs> I mean, why not, I guess? If you want to give me a health up, then I'll take it. Might be useful for a devil deal after all, so... Right now, that is not too shabby. Getting more and more bombs as well. I'm liking how much bombs we're actually getting because, like, theoretically, the amount of, like, keys we're getting shouldn't be a problem. That's unfortunate. I'm not gonna pick that up. Well, I'll, I'll touch it because I'm not actually sure if I've ever picked it up before. But sticking with the remote detonator because I've randomly decided that that's my rule set now. That I will stick with whatever the game gives me at the start of the run. And we'll see if it ends up being a good idea. I mean, there's not that many super special, like, space use items anyway. There's, like, the dice and stuff, but other than that, there's a lot of stuff which is like, meh, meh. So it's like, whatever. Uh, red candle. I've picked up the red candle before. It's the blue candle that I want, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put some coins in here. And... Uh, I'll just take that, I guess. Why not? I was actually kind of tempted to buy that bomb, but nah, whatever. We can do without... God, I love the remote des destination, actually. Like, being able to not wait so long to blow up a bomb is actually quite fun. It's actually quite interesting. I don't know why I placed that bomb. Oh, I guess we're killing that guy. I was like, I'm gonna kill that guy, but then I thought, why am I actually doing that? <laughs> there really isn't that very good of a reason to be doing this, because... I mean, the best thing he could be giving us was, like, the, the Steam sale, the 50% off item, but... That's pretty rare. It, it really doesn't happen very frequently that those guys drop anything at all. But, you know, two coins, I guess. That's almost worth the five co coins that a bomb usually costs. So, it, it works out in the end if you're really bad with numbers. So, I got that going for us. And I'm just going to keep going, actually. Maybe we can see if we can get into our boss rush. Like, especially with the dead cat. It's actually not that bad of an idea to be going for the boss rush. Because I can just die if need be. And then I can just keep going. Because I got plenty of lives anyway, so it's like, what if? It's not a bad idea. So let's do it. Let's go for a boss rush for once. It's actually been quite a while since I've gone for my boss rush after all as well, so... Might as well try. With some luck, we can also just teleport out of it if we get something like that. And we got an angel room. Which was not overly unexpected. I'm not going to take out the tick because I don't like it that much. We'll take that, because I like that quite a lot. I'm actually going to use the two of clubs right now, which is kind of a bad idea probably, but whatever. 
it, it'll work out in the end, I think. Is this the one where I have to stand not in front of it or diagonally in front of it? Or is this the other one? I, I can never tell. I'm pretty sure this is the one that shoots in front of him and, like, diagonally in front of him. But he can also just not shoot lasers, I guess. That's also an option. That was exciting. I'm excited. That was an exciting trip through uh, the day-to-day -day life of random boss. Speed down! Perfect! Just what I needed to try and get this boss rush going. Why not? Chris the Maze, loving it. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy, because I can't be bothered. I'm actually gonna gamble here for a bit. Why not? With some luck, we might get some orbitals orbiting us around. Orbiting around this. Trying to get some flies to block some of those tears that are coming in our general direction. Ugh. Not really digging this. But we should be getting a reasonable amount of keys from this, at least. So we got that going. For us, so that's good. Would be cool if we could get something... Nah. I don't really have a good way of dealing damage to myself. Would have been good if we had to fish out bef had, uh, before we spend our hearts on that blood donation machine. But, oh well, too late for that. Nah. Didn't know that was going to happen. So there you go. That's my excuse. Let's try doing this. There we go. Balls of steel! That is lovely. That is a lovely amount of extra health that I just received for Freezios. And now we're in this room, which was totally, actually, actually my intention. It was actually, actually my intention. And not just my general intention, which is usually just lies. It's, I mean, let's be honest. Usually I just say lies to really uh, pretend that what I did was a good idea. But this time around, the Curse of the Maze actually brought me to the place where I kind of wanted to go. I'll take that. <laughs> Why not? Two balls of steel pills in about a half a second. I don't mind that at all. And spiders! Yay! I was really quite hoping for some more guppa gup pieces rather than just the one we got at the start of the run, but the game doesn't really want me to get those. <laughs> not sure why, really. We've, we've been so kind to the game this far. How? Oh, right, the soul. <laughs> the soul is actually making some of those tears go away. I was like, how did we dodge that one right there? But. It actually does sort of make sense, because it, it, at first glance, that looked pretty impossible. <laughs> but all right, sure. Why not? I'll take it. Uh, no. Actually, yeah. Why not? I think that also increases your Devil Deal chance, at least in the original game, like blowing those guys up. So that might actually be good. It might actually increase the odds of us actually getting some more cat pieces and shooting even more flies than just the rotten baby is currently doing. Which I like. I like that a lot. Where's my item room? It's probably to the room behind us because Curse of the Maze moved us. Silly Curse of the Maze. You already helped us out. You don't need to do more now. Now's not the time to be doing more work. There you go. Look who's over there. It's the best item ever put in a video game. It is. I mean, I mostly just picked it up because I'm not sure if I had. I think I have picked that up before. And it is really powerful against bosses. But... I, uh, no. <laughs> Can't break the rules that I've arbitrarily set for myself, so I'm not going to be doing that one. Um, those are quite good, but I want more coins in my donation machine first. That's priority number one right now. Don't really care about the other items. Like, I know I've picked up the other items before, so I'm not really going to be bothering with that too much. Plus, we actually managed to put a fairly large amount of coins in there, so I'm quite happy about that. Who are we fighting? Dark one, I'll use my card. At least we move moving a little bit quicker now. Maybe deal a little bit, little bit more damage, maybe? Get that Horror Babylon effect going. Hopefully get some cool devil deals in this after this boss fight. We might get nothing because we have gotten Angel Room before this room, but... You never know, but unfortunately it was not to be. Mr. Squeezy! Oh, and we can't even pick up that final heart. I was a little bit worried when I left without picking up that last one, but... We're actually at full health, which is nice. I like it. Necropolis number uno. Let's see if ne Necropolis contains the greatest treasure of all kind, which is a boss room really close to our starting location, because getting that boss rush is getting a little bit dicey right now. We need to be a little bit quicker. And I do waste a lot of time picking up coins and whatnot, and I uh, shouldn't probably be doing that if I do want to get that boss rush. We actually do have a, like enough health to be doing our boss rush right now as well, so actually trying to go for it would be kind of fun fun. And I would enjoy it a lot, lot. Uh, I'll take that. Having half a heart right now. I mean, it'll be useful later on, but right now I don't really care too much about it. I'll be honest. 
I'll be honest, I don't really care too much about having the Polaroid effect when we don't ha yet have the Polaroid and... Ah, whatever. Hey! I'll be touching that. Bleep. And bloop. Because it's having touched it still counts as being part of Guppy. Also, I said that I wasn't going to even pick up spacebar items, but clearly I've decided not to... Not to not. <laughs> uh, because actually that's a stupid idea, but still... I will be just sticking with the item that I have, because I kind of like that part of the idea more than any other part of it, really. So, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And also, I, I will just continuously forget about not picking up things anyway, so it's like, meh. It's already kind of a miracle that I haven't just went away with, like, Guppy's Paw, because it's clear- it's just better. <laughs> it's just a better item. But, I have so far decided not to do that yet. A lot of pills there, but don't really need any of those. Don't really need more pills right now. Plus, I can't buy them anyway, so it's like, what ifs? God, yeah, the boss rush is gonna be a problem, I think. I don't think we're gonna be making that if we keep this pace up, because... We are just magically going in the wrong direction every single time. It's sort of amazing. But I'll just try to go as fast as possible. I'll just be a little bit more reckless as you than usual. Just ignore if there are any tinted rocks in that room, which there probably are, but I didn't really want to look at it too closely. Got a little bit bored at looking at rocks right there, so we're just gonna keep moving on. I don't even want to fight this room. <laughs> we, we, we got enough bombs to go, to go through that room without fighting them, so I'm gonna do exactly that, just to save a little bit of time there. Because those those rooms are just such a waste of time, uh, given what you have to do. Like, those guys are so strong, and man, we are just actually going in every wrong direction so far. It's almost amazing at this point. <laughs> But with some luck, we'll just find our boss room at this rate as well. I mean, after all, there's only so, there's only so many dead ends you can find after all. So theoretically speaking, we should be finding the right direction any time now. Beep! Why not? Get an eyeball to go through the room. I wonder if this actually affects stuff like uh, the blood clot. I think it should. That like the item that like only activates with your like left eye or whatever. I think if you have like only a single eye, it actually changes the way it works. I think it just adds, it just changes like a 50-50 chance that it activates or not. Homing bombs, yo! <laughs> that does actually speed up things quite a lot. Oh boy. Although we are running somewhat out of bombs, which is a little bit sad, obviously, but... Hopefully we can get something cool out of our secret room here. A lot of coins at least, so with some luck we might be able to buy something in the shop on the next floor, but maybe... Maybe we won't. <laughs> hey, it's two haunts instead of one this time. We already fought one, but now we're fighting two. Oh, a joy. Oh, joyous occasion. That we get to fight so many of these tiny ghost bastards. They're just happily levitating around the room. Oh, what fun. Oh, a joy. I was kind of hoping we'd hit both of them there, but I didn't. I hit both of them there, though. And one of them there, so that's good enough. Let's just keep shooting now. I only got two bombs remaining, and I kind of want to keep at least some of them. And we got another angel room, so we could go to Mega Satan if I so desired. And I kind of do, actually. Kind of feel like it right now. I mean, we got the stuffs for it. We got the things required to go to Mega Satan. And that was a very good dodge I just did there. I'm pretty proud of myself. Liking that a lot. Didn't even bother to move, really. But that's mostly because I can't really remember where to stand. I'm pretty sure I just have to stand here right now, yeah. When the hands are glowy, he's gonna do it from the horizontals. I gotta remember those things to keep piece number two. Liking it a lot. Can we get through this floor in two and a half minutes? That's tight. That is very tight. I don't like that at all. But let's try it. Let's see what we can do, I suppose. Whoop. Just speed through it as quickly as possible. And hope that we're going in the right direction. That's really the main problem. We're also not dealing that much damage, actually, but... Uh, we'll see, I guess. Magician! What a shock! It's like it always is the magician. How did I know these things? I must be a genie, actually. It must be so. Genies are psychic, after all, and they know exactly what's going to happen. In any Isaac run. That's why genies were originally made. To, pre to predict Isaac runs. That was gonna be a dead end regardless. I'm not sure why I went there. God, I wish I had more bombs. I, I shouldn't have used all of them, but I, I got so many of them. I didn't expect to be running out of them so quickly. Okay, what about you? Hive mind, that actually ended up being pretty good. Sure, whatever, I guess. I'm pretty sure I missed a coin just now and there, but oh well. And... I don't have bombs! Oh, I was gonna blow up those two skulls, but I guess not. We're just gonna do it. 
I want to get that boss rush randomly, so we're gonna try and get it. Let's try to get hit by a foot here as well. That would be pretty rad. Come on, foot. 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 Foot, foot, foot. There you go. That's what I wanted you to do. Emperor card. Oh my god. It is the gift that keeps on giving. Now I have to actually choose how to use it though, but it's if I can kill this boss before 20 minutes, which I should be able to, I think. Although he's not really, she's not really caring too much about me right now, and I'm not digging that too much. Please come out. Oh my god. What is going on? She's not doing anything to me right now. And I do kind of need her to. <laughs> Running a tight schedule here. Running a tight ship, and I need you to attack me at least a little bit here. God. Took a lot of damage there, trying to make sure that actually went well. Holy grail! Sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what was this one? Magician, right? Alright, Emperor card. I'll take that one. Wafer. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. We're actually getting so many good items all of a sudden. I like it. Uh, but that's the nice thing about the Emperor card, and uh, for the boss rush especially, like you can just quickly get things. That Holy Grail is gonna give us flying, which is really the main thing I was happy about. Like you also get some stats up, but I think that usually with like all, all of the things that are like plus everything, damage will end up being like 0.3 damage, or like such a low amount of damage. That is generally like, it doesn't even matter. It does nothing pretty much, so. I'm honestly not too fussed about getting the thing. I'm not even going to go back for that key because I'm lazy. And with some luck, we're going to get a whole bunch more anyway. So, like, whatever. Whatever. With some luck, we're not going to be running into one of those uh, key judges now. That's not lucky at all. What am I talking about? I mean, I want one, but let's hope that we're not going to be one key short before really cool stuff happens. That's pretty much what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say here. And that's what I'm trying to do. That is just sort of incredible, though, that we got an Emperor card at the boss. <laughs> I had to skip an item room to, like, get in that room after all, so... I'm gonna say that using that Emperor card there to... basically get the same effect as I would have gotten if I just went to the item room. Totally worthwhile. Totally. <laughs> that was totally the best plan. I mean, we got a wafer out of it in the end, and having a wafer here is just really good destruction. Why not? Apparently there was a tinted rock there. Totally saw it. I, I totally knew was that was there. And I wasn't just going by the law of averages in that there were so many rocks there that there, there like had to be one, right? <laughs> there are so many rocks there. What are the odds of there not being one of the magical tinted rocks? And the odds indeed were in my favor. Where am I? I don't like this curse. I don't like being lost. I don't like it at all. It actually gets me quite lost every single time. I don't like it, but we got some bombs. We're actually getting a fair amount of bombs back again, which I'm happy about. Also happy that that guy's head just sort of um, teleported in me. That was pretty good. <laughs> Should remember that they start off like directly to the right, so that was entirely my own fault, really. But I mean, we've done, what, 71 videos now? I should know how these things work by now, but no. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently it's never quite good enough. But one of these days, man, one of these days is going to be amazing. Hermit card, sure. I can take that. Kinda hoping for one of them uh, guppy head pieces, that'll be cool. Like, just one more is all I need to become gup gup. And if I could get that, then that's a definite win for us, definitely. We'd like that, we'd spawn a lot of flies. We got, like, okay tier rate and sorta okay damage. Like, our damage right now really isn't anything to write home about, but the fact that we have to wait for right now means that we'll probably survive. I'm gonna blow up this thing, I feel like it, yeah. I just sort of felt like it, you know? I felt like blowing it up. It seemed like a good idea at the time, and look at that. It totally was a good idea. It was the best idea I've possibly ever had. And there is the boss. That was that was not so bad. I mean, we went in the wrong direction for a while, but it, it worked out. Loki! How are you doing? Why are you cut in half, Loki? Why does that happen to you so frequently? Why do I not fight you when you're not cut in half as much? It seems to not happen so much anymore, and it... Confuzzles me. I'm mostly confuzzled about this whole situation. But oh well. Oh well indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Stem cells. Woo! Because you never know. That extra health and slight increase in shot speed might just be good. I don't know where I want to use this hermit card. Like, I'm sort of tempted to use it. Actually, yeah, whatever. Wow. Okay, cool. Teleported me to the room I was in. 
Gotta love them useful teleports. You never know when uh, they take you to a whole new world. And God, that was the newest world I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure my secret room is to the right of me. And our base is only on the rocks, but there you go. That's good enough, right? See? Totally was. Totally was good enough. A lot of money as well. None of them spawn keys, and I'm really offended. But I'll just let it slide. We can use the money on our arcade room. Win ourselves a dollar bill for the millionth time. Can't actually use the detonation on this on this thing either, which is uh, kind of sad. It would make it a lot better of an item if it actually worked on all bombs and not just your own. But it does... It God, we're getting so many Tinted Rocks here. And usually we probably do as well, but I just never see them. But this time around, I'm still not seeing them, but I'm just being really lucky with bombs everywhere. So, yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna play with both of these guys, I think. Let's see if we can get a Skidura there. Let's see if we can. Did I ever, like, play with this guy enough to unlock the thing? I'm pretty sure I did, but... I never know. <laughs> I never remember. Like, you get the, uh... Is it, like, the counterfeit penny or something like that if you play with this guy often enough? I don't know. Let's just play with this guy for a while. I could also just spend a whole bunch of hearts on the blood donation machine right now, because we have the wafer, so it's actually not that bad of an idea either. Which is cool, Skatoli! Oh, that's sad. Let's do it! Get ourselves the half a heart so we can get a Polaroid. Or just get some more health, I guess that works as well. Eh, oh well. It's not like we're like uh, waiting. Oh, alright. No dollar for us. Let's see if we can still get a Skatoli though. We're getting a lot of bombs. Like, that's. Kinda what I was sort of secretly hoping for. That and the dollar bill and the Skatole and literally everything else we could have gotten, but... Still, that wasn't so bad. A lot of bombs. Look at how many bombs we have. If we actually got Mr. Mega or something like that, that would actually make it a lot better. Or just sad bombs or any of the bomb upgrades other than homing bombs, but... Hey! We got the real detonator and uh, that that's what matters. Boop. Yay! We won nothing! Um... I don't know where to go here. I mean, this seems the most plausible, really. I don't really want to deal with that room. I don't really want to deal with this room either. Let's just go. Let's just leave. Let's just leave all- Aww. <laughs> was really hoping this wasn't going to be a dead end, and it was. Ruined all of my plans. Where am I supposed to go now? I've, I've run out of ideas entirely. Um, I guess up would be the... I mean, either up or down. <laughs> or another direction. That's really the only choices I have right now. Originally, I thought it had to be up, but then I saw it was a secret room next to that room and not another one. So, I, oh no, wait, that would actually, yeah, this makes more sense. Never mind. I figured it out. I used my brain parts and I realized, I came to the conclusion that I did do the right thing. Plus, the boss room's right there, so, you know. If, even if it was theoretically the wrong choice, it still worked. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. Hey, black heart. We're actually at full health, and I kind of I kind of feel sad of picking it up now because we had, like, six red hearts and six, like, blue hearts, and it looked kind of cool, but no oh well. Mistakes were made <laughs> in terms of aesthetic. Maybe we'll take damage somewhere along the line and we can take a soul heart instead. I'm looking forward to the time I take damage. That's what I'm looking forward to. God, look at the soul doing some work right now, but only sometimes. <laughs> only, only when it gets awkwardly close and I get scared and move out of the way anyway, but I can make those tears just fly back to her. It's great. Loving it. I can just stand over here and be entirely safe. Fighting Teratoma. Loving it. Love that, that boss, but... Yeah, right now we just don't have much to worry about. Like, all of the tears aren't actually coming close enough to us unless we just actively try to run into it ourselves. Hive mind, occasionally doing work. I'm loving it. Gonna be good enough. Look at this. I can just stand here. It's great. Let's have more builds like this where I can just stand still. Oh, this is actually quite rare as well that we actually see, like, this angel room that actually takes us upwards. So, let's just for the funsies just fight this dude. Why not? Oh my god, look at all that. Alright, we can bring our aesthetic back if we take some damage here, so let's do it. Come on. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Did it for the aesthetic. Now we got six red hearts, six blue hearts. Let's keep going. I accidentally kicked my mic stand. That's how you do a video series. Now I just have to not take damage for the rest of... Okay, well, there we went. <laughs> we went for a whole empty room until we took damage. That was pretty, pretty successful, I'd say so myself. That was lucky. Uh, let's see if we can just get a uh, magic mushroom. Or a key? Out of a- what? Why is there a key in a mushroom? That's weird. I guess it's just being weird now. I'm confused. Maybe there was a key. I guess there could have been a coin there that I picked up that I just didn't even pay attention to and I thought it was a mushroom. I don't even know anymore. 
My life is one big ball of confusion. Hive Mind is pretty much doing all the work here in terms of damage, by the way. <laughs> like, our tears are alright, but it really is mostly just Hive Mind right now. Black Widow, sort of Black Widow? Yeah, it is Black Widow. The one that spawns spidery stuff, and I don't like it. I'm not gonna pick that up. That's gonna ruin my potential for the aesthetic, and that's what matters right now. I guess the Magic Mushroom would have done the same thing, but still, I, d I don't want more Red Hearts. I like six. Six is a good amount of Red Hearts. It looks nice. It looks like we could just have another row of hearts, which, which would like all be black hearts, and then we just have the perfect build, pretty much. But it's not to be. That doesn't work anymore. <laughs> In the original Isaac, you can just like stand to the left of him, and he shoots to the left, and then you can stand to the right of him, and he shoots to the right, and you can just kill him that way really easily. But they fixed that. <laughs> I think you can still like sort of manipulate it if you do it right, but. He needs to do, like, one move in between shooting it, almost seems like. Or maybe he's just less bad. <laughs> maybe he's just less bad at trying to kill me. That's also entirely possible, I suppose. Oop. Nope. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Why not, right? That's not balls of steel. That's booms. Oh, wait. That shouldn't actually blow up. Yeah. Look at that. Doesn't that look horrible? I mean... I wouldn't look at this for too long, but still. At least explosive diarrhea is actually a lot less scary now. So, uh, yeah, this this build. Loving this. And we found our way. This was a pretty short cathedral, I feel like. It wasn't really that anything special when you think about it. Also, uh, still not guppy. <laughs> still not guppy. What's up with that? What's up with that, game? Why am I still not guppy? What's up with that? Job dislike smoke. Hmm. All right, let's do it. How many bombs can I put down, actually? I've never actually really tried this. Uh, well, I'll just, I can just keep going. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty pointless, but it is also quite fun. There we go. That did a fair amount of damage. Ten bombs in it at once. Who would have thought? Oh, good job, random beams. That's, that's perfect. Good, good job on hitting me there. I, uh, I really tried to dodge it, but then again, you are instant damage, so it was impossible. Thanks, game. Thank you very much. Took a lot of damage there, but then again, I was pissing around a lot with bombs there, so that was maybe one of the reasons. Okay, now I'm just taking damage for no real reason. And now I took damage from a random beam. What's going on? What's going on, game? Why are you being so aggressive all of a sudden? Why is the soul not doing anything to this guy's tears, by the way? I mean, the soul is like... It's random, like, how effective it is, like, depending on the room, and it's, like, perfectly not good enough for this battle right now. It's great. Love it. Alright. Fight, fight, fight. Live to win. No other such, like, motivational things. I guess you should probably pick up that Eternal Heart now. Like, now that he's ruined everything. Now that everything's ruined, Isaac. Pfft. How dare you. You're such a jerk, Isaac. Oh my god, I had such a nice thing going. And now, look at it. My entire aesthetic is ruined, and that's really all I cared about this entire run. I don't even know where the Eternal Heart was. What? Oh yeah, I rerolled these. Oh, I guess it's probably gone then, isn't it? <laughs> because I rerolled everything. Oh well, uh, uh... Was it even this floor where the Eternal Heart was? I don't even remember. Who cares? Whatever. We're just moving on. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna ignore that all of these things happen. Uh, marginally hoping for a super secret room there, but it was not to be. Can we get something good? Can we get a Curse of the Unknown? Hey, nope. Oop, bloop, bloop. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I like that. I like that quite a lot. I'll take all of these things. Oh, yeah, Mega Satan as well. I forgot about that entirely, pretty much. We're moving really fast now, and we're shooting so many tears, and they're flying all over the place. Now we're pretty much Isaac. It's great. A shot speed, by the way. It's just... God, our bombs are, or um, our tears are fast right now. It's ridiculous. Look at the speed of the tears when they're just hitting anything. Loki's horns occasionally making a whole bunch as well. Oh my God! Look at that dodge, though. Let's do more of that from now on. That I guess that's how you dodge these guys. You just need a lot of speed and be amazing. That's that's the secret to dodging that that guy. That's the secret. Now let's try to find some more hearts before we uh, run into Mega Satan's little cottage. I don't know if what we have is really good enough to fight Mega Satan, really, but we'll figure something out. I'm just gonna clear out the rest of this floor first, and if it doesn't work out, I'll just leave. <laughs> that, that's gonna be the plan. If I if I can't kill Mega Satan, I'll just not. I'll just leave. God, it's really making these guys move really quite oddly when I hit them a lot from like at high speed. 
They're like teleporting backwards slightly. It looks weird. I think these guys are weird and I don't like it. There's so many bombs here. Can I get Mr. Mega from these guys? I guess I probably could. But I'd probably need to like kill one of them big guys last and that's gonna be a little bit fiddly I guess, but not overly impossible. Just focus on the small ones first and then we win. Hopefully. Please. Is that the last of the small ones? I think it is. Yep. I think so, at least. And if it isn't, then I'm going to be really mad. Don't drop some random crap. Just... Ah. That's random crap. <laughs> I didn't want... I specifically asked for not random crap. And look at what it gave me. Random crap. Terrible. He's desperately trying to make this a bomb build with this remote detonator we got at basement one. But no. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yay! Damage! Alright, cool. Well, at least we now know we have Bad Trip in our pill pool, which is actually not bad. Uh, if we can get another one, then it turns into a full health pill when we're at half a heart of like health remaining, so... That's actually not too bad with what we got, like the amount of red hearts we got going on right now. Would be cool if we got chests ever, like that would be pretty rad. We are in the chest, so you'd think there'd be more of them, but apparently not. This guy did pretty well, though. Good job, Bloat. You did good. Really good. Good job. I I am actually quite proud of you right now, Bloat. And uh, I think everyone should be proud of how good Bloat did there just now. Because usually it's quite scary, but this time around he just shot blood everywhere. Really good. Really great. I guess my secret room could be to the left over here, but who knows. Okay, um, I guess it's to the left over there. I, I mean, I deduce this through the magic of lucky bombs all the time, every day. That's that's how I do it. This is how we do it, as they say. What's in here? It's great again! I just killed you in the other room, but alright, I guess. Sure. Riveting days. Please just die. No one cares. No one cares about you. Explosive diarrhea. Uh, let's just nudge these things for a while. I can't be bothered. Let's blow it all up. I was kind of hoping for a ladder there, but it was not. No ladders. No ladders downwards. Downwards. No ladders downwards. So, uh, yeah, nothing we could do there, unfortunately. Joker. Aww. Actually, that's not too bad either, given that we still have a pretty large amount of red heart containers right now. If we can get a couple more, then this card is actually quite good. Good job, uh, Soul, <laughs> at blocking these random tears flying in my direction. Very good. Very proud. I'm proud of every item I have right now because it's all just working out so very well. Ugh. Oh well. You can't win every battle, I suppose. That's what they say. Fly into each other and deal damage to each other somehow. That would be, actually be pretty cool if you guys could just do that and not do what you're currently doing. One of you is a head and one of you is a body. Looking kind of weird. And there's War who just stays uh, in its entirety. Telepathy! In a singular room! The best I- I'll shoot- I should kill him last. I'm gonna try to get the lard, or the heart. That's what I'm gonna try and get, but I need to kill big- uh, big old gluttony over there. Ah! God! Why is everything so fragile in this game? Everything just wants to die. Also, mom's wig. <laughs> Not bad. That actually is pretty good with hive mind, because it spawns a whole bunch of spiders when you have hive mind, so that's pretty nice. I like it. I'm sort of surprised I even tried to dodge it like that, but... You know, I don't question my choices anymore. Spiders are actually quite useful in general, though. Like, that's actually going to be quite good for a Mega Satan as well. Like, it won't hit Mega Satan, but it'll hit all the enemies that he spawns. So it's actually not bad. Like it. Very, very appreciative. And boop. Oh. Where's my super secret room? I don't know where it would be. It'd have to be somewhere, I reckon. Two bloats. Yay. So far, my strategy of just having him shoot lasers all the time is actually working quite well. <laughs> Should do that more often. It's like way more effective than trying to be like safe and everything. Also, getting hit by his bombs is a pretty good idea. If I had Pyromaniac, then that would work out really well, actually. There you go. This is just how you fight like Monstro 2 in the original Binding of Isaac, actually. It just works with this guy now instead of Monstro 2. In Monstro 2, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's weird how times have changed. But that's just for the better, I suppose. Would have been really cool if we could find one of those just key beggars now, but no. Whatever. Can't win them all, as I've said a couple times during this run now. And uh, that is just truth. It's truth. It's what it is. Okay. Um, 
No, I'm kind of running out of rooms here that are kind of interesting to go into. Would have been cool if these guys actually hit each other as well, but no. Nope, nope, nope. They're just immune to the powerful lasers that they got in their systems somehow. I don't know how they entered their systems, but here we are. In a world where these people can shoot lasers out of their mouths, and I'm very frightened. Come on, revenge fly, be useful. <laughs> You're a revenge fly, you should be slightly bigger because of hive mind as well. Hey! Now, now we've got something that'll kill Mega Satan. If we can't win now, then we're just not being very good at the game. Like, we got a lot of red hearts effectively because of that hearts card, so... We should be fine. <laughs> And we found our super secret room again by accident because of lucky bombs. And we got a child's heart, which is now effectively pointless, but still. Good job. Good job again. <laughs> Two hits in that room. Very good. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just kill the blue babs and then I'm gonna go to Mega Satan and we'll see what happens. That's the plan, at least. And hopefully we can stick to it. We're dealing a lot of damage. Our flies are dealing a lot of damage. Our spiders are dealing a lot of damage. And everything is amazing. Soul is making a lot of tears not go in our direction right now, so basically everything's just working out really well. But we still didn't get Guppy. Didn't get Guppy in the end, and uh, even though we got the dead cat on floor one and uh, Guppy's paw somewhere along the line as well, we had so much potential for becoming Guppy, but no. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna use this three of hearts right now because there's really not a better time. <laughs> like... It just, uh, like, it takes the amount of hearts you currently haven't, like, the amount of hearts you have, and then it just doubles it. So, healing three hearts was really the most it would ever do. And I never got more hearts on the floor, so that was kind of sad. Mega Satan, you and me. I got the build for it. I don't have, a, like, a super large amount of health or anything, but I do have the wafer, so it will be twice as effective in the end, so there is that. And the soul's doing a pretty good job at... Making these tears go marginally in a different direction, so that's pretty good. Got to try and stay close to these hands, though, which I'm not overly fond of, but... And then there's that, which I got hit by several times, but I now do have a revenge fly on my side, so there is that. Let's try to get a soul heart from that guy as well. That would be nice. Come on, do it. Give me a soul heart. Did you get one? No? All right, well, okay then. I don't think you even can, but, you know. It would be cool if you did. I, I like to dream. A boy can dream about the soul hearts that could have been given to us at any other... Moment in our lives. Sort of surprised we didn't take damage from that scythe that came from the top there, but alright. I guess it's one of those flies actually killed it before it had a chance, which is alright. Pretty cool. I can dig it. Die. Don't shoot lasers at me, please. Just, just be dead and, th and things. Hey. Super Envy. Show me what you got, girl. I don't think you really got anything. Because you just sort of die in any instance. Even if we had a pretty bad build. This would probably be the easiest part of the battle. Which then immediately transitions into a slightly more difficult part and then probably the hardest part of the battle because you fight four guys at once and it's just kind of scary. But you do have a lot of room, so there is that as well. Plus I'm just dealing a lot of damage. Right, that, that proptosis was really good in the end there. Probably the best thing we got out of uh, all the different items we got in the end. So I'm liking it. Cause we're, we're just destroying worlds right now. I like it. Let's just keep destroying worlds, and let's not try not to get hit by this guy for a change. There we go. I can learn one of these days. I can learn how to dodge. How to dodge. That's how you say it, right? Let's see. Oh, God. Why? What are you so mean? Mega Satan. Mega Satan, come on. <laughs> Be a friend, Mega Satan. I'm going to place some bombs down here for funsies. Do, 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 that did some damage. And I am taking some da- I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna stand over here. <laughs> this was actually pretty safe the last time around. And I think- Is this soul moving things around? I'm not sure. Either way, this place was oddly, like, safe the last time I was fighting him. And it worked out. <laughs> I don't know why that corner is so safe as well, but it just works. It just works. It is the corner of hope, the corner of dreams. And we finally did a run where we actually got our boss rush for once, which was kind of fun. We didn't actually do the boss rush, but we did it. We like we went, we got there in time, which is a rare instance for me lately. Like I've been playing pretty slow for a while now, and I haven't really been trying to go through it fast, which is obviously like the safer way of doing it. Especially since I skipped my item room this time around to just get there as well. So the item that I could have gotten out of my item room, we just got out of the like boss rush this time around because I I couldn't see what items there were, so it really made no difference at all. But you know. It worked out. 
Uh, we didn't get, really get any new items, I don't think. Or we did. I'm not sure. We got 331 now. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I picked up something that I picked up during a challenge some other time or something. I don't even know anymore. But we put some coins in our donation machine. Quite a lot, actually. So I'm happy about that. And good stuff. We're building up a win streak again. We slightly altered the rules because, quite frankly, my original idea of not even picking them up is kind of an idiotic idea when I can't actually remember what items I still need for Platinum God. Plus, I wouldn't be able to turn into Guppy pretty much ever. So I don't really like that plan. But... I do like the idea of sticking with the item for the entire run, and that's what we did once again, and that's what I'm going to do the next run as well, so I hope you enjoyed it so far, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.